All right, uh, we are going to listen in live right now uh, to CFPD press conference on a uh, homicide overnight. Let's listen now. Do I need to state my name? Yes. Good morning. My name is Alex Watson, uh, Major Central Service Area. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right, good morning. Uh, at about 3.29 a.m., uh, officers with the Westover Division, uh, responded to the 2600 block of Elman. Uh, when they arrived on scene, they located a victim uh, deceased inside of a vehicle suffering from apparent uh, gunshot wounds. Uh, the victim's identity is unknown at this time. Uh, members of a homicide unit, crime scene, uh, district attorney's uh, homicide prosecution team, victim services are all on scene at this time. Um, did someone in the neighborhood discover the body? Did you get a 911 We call? received a call from a 911 caller uh, that uh, the vehicle was here and there was an individual inside the vehicle suffering from a uh, gunshot wound. Just to clarify, you said wounds before wounds this time. Were they shot multiple times or just once? I can't disclose that information at this time. Do we know the gender of the person? It's a female. How old? Don't know at this time. It's an adult female. Okay. Um, are these family members just arriving, getting this news? Or? It appears so. Uh, specifically what family, I don't know. Uh, but uh, as you can see, uh, they're slowly uh, trickling in, unfortunately. These, uh, this is the worst part about these type scenes, unfortunately. Um, but members of a homicide unit, um, crime scene, they're doing their work right now, canvassing. Uh, and hopefully we can find uh, who's responsible for this incident. And real quick, I want to encourage uh, members of the community with any information uh, that would lead to an arrest to please call Crime Stoppers at 704-334-1600. With this community waking up to this this morning, is there any concern that they should have since there's somebody shot in their neighborhood and we don't know yet who did it? At this time, preliminary, there's no reason for anyone in the community to be concerned right now. Uh, this incident we don't believe uh, happened at the location where this victim was found. What makes you think that? That's a part of the investigation, ma'am, that I can't disclose. Um, the How person, long? were they found in the driver's seat, passenger seat, are you able to say? I don't have that information at this time. And what kind of vehicle is it? It's a sedan. Okay. Um, do you are you able to say how long you guys will be here this morning? Until the crime scene is processed, we we will be here. Uh, well, as far as the time frame, I can't give you that right now. Our our homicide unit they're very meticulous in the work they do, and uh, I, I anticipate they'll be here for a little while. Canvassing is a part of the process to knocking on doors, seeing who's seeing anything, getting as much information as possible. How and obviously, right now. As you can see, the environment with family trickling in, that's one of our top priorities tending to their needs right now. Um, how many homicides does this make in Charlotte? Uh, 52. Um, anything you want to say personally as an officer about, you know, the number of homicides we've seen here so far this year? Well, I mean, obviously the number's troubling. Um, unfortunately, we, uh, we're dealing with a lot of incidents uh, where individuals are uh, settling uh, their differences with each other through violence and obviously uh, we want to change that trend uh, but right now we want to make sure members of the public understand that uh, when it comes to solving uh, issues between each other whatever that may be uh, they can't resort to violence u utilizing weapons hopefully uh, they can utilize de-escalation like we do as police officers uh, but um, we're hoping that trend will change soon alright ladies I greatly appreciate you being here with this morning the major is trying to oversee it